Adam and the Ants. Today I convey a story. It is a story about a boy called Adam who lives in a big house in the north of Vietnam. He moved to Vietnam when he was just a small infant and has grown up here ever since. Adam loves playing in his garden when he returns home from school and has done his homework, of course. He has a sand pit and a swing and even a swimming pool, but he doesn't have any acquaintances. The boys at school are not very nice to Adam. They make fun of his blue eyes and snowy skin. Adam has many girls craving to play with him, but he is afraid that if he plays with the girls, the boys will hate him even more, and so he stays alone. One day, as Adam was playing lonesome in his garden, he saw a mound of dirt that was there the day before. He knelt down on the grass and looked at it. He had never seen anything like it previously. It was an ant's nest, and there must have been a million ants inside. He got some foliage and placed it over the hole at the top of the nest, and then watched as the ants moved it out of the way. He then put a bottle cap over the hole, but they still moved it out of the way. He looked around but could see nothing else to cover the hole. So he went inside his home to look further. In the kitchen he found a saucepan lid. It was transparent and ideal for what he had in mind. He dashed back into the garden and over to the nest. Cautiously he placed the lid over the hole. It was so large that it covered most of the nest. There, let's see if you can move that, he said while grinning. Because the lid was see-through, he could see that the ants underneath. They were running around not knowing what to do. Ha ha ha, laughed Adam as he watched diligently. Then to his surprise, he saw an ant looking at him. He stuck out his tongue and went, na, 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 na. But then, as he looked, the ant also stung out, stuck out his tongue. Adam got closer and closer to the lid and gawked at the tiny ant. I will get you for this, said the ant. Adam's eyes opened very wide. You can talk, he replied. The little ant looked at him and said, Yes, and so can you, in a sarcastic voice. Adam didn't know what to do, and so he scampered back to his home. The next day, Adam went back into the garden. The saucepan lid was gone. He looked and looked, but it was nowhere to be seen. Then he saw something shining from a few metres away and walked over to it. When he bent down... He was, it was a little ant. The ant was holding something metal. What was it? He thought. As he looked closer, he realised it was actually a very tiny sword. Oh my, he said. What are you going to do with that? Said Adam in a calm voice. The little ant raised the sword into the air and cried out, Charge! Then Adam saw more ants, countless more ants, millions of ants. They were all running towards him. Each ant had a sword, and before he could move, they were attacking him. Adam moved backwards and fell down onto the grass. Get him! yelled an ant. Adam could do nothing. One ant is nothing to worry about, but millions of ants were more than enough to keep him on his back. The king of the ants walked up onto Adam's nose and looked into his eyes. He looked angry and said, I am the king of the ant hill. You declared war on us and we must kill you. Adam was terrified 
I am sorry. I will never do anything like this again. I promise. I swear, said Adam with tears in his eyes. The king ant looked at him and said, Well, okay then. I pardon you. Adam was so happy. Really? Thank you. You are a kind and forgiving leader, he said proudly. The king ant spoke again. No, not really. We are going to eat you. You should feed us for the whole winter. Adam started to cry. Ha ha ha, laughed the king ant. I am only joking. After that day, Adam and the ants lived happily together. Adam would leave out food for the ants, and in return they would draw him pictures of things they saw underground. The End <laughs>